the session. session. So we have come to the session part of the session introducing, and I'm delighted to welcome to you the first ever metal band on the show. Welcome, Primitai. Hello. All right. Uh, <laughs> now we have got Chris, Nick, Jamie, and Graham, um, all from Primitai, and uh, you're from Sandhurst, is that right? So one's from Wokingham, I know that. Yeah, that's me. I'm Chris. Uh, okay, and Sandhurst, I mean, the only famous person I kind of know to come out of Sandhurst was from military school, and that was, of course, from maybe James Blunt. Um, so what's the scene like? there for classic metal. Near enough dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're like based right near the uh, Agincourt Rock venue, which is like, it does drive a few metal heads down there, but... Right. There is a scene there, isn't there? There is like people who listen to it, but in terms of like bands and things, we had some friends who were in, into sort of similar music, and they had, a, they had a really good band going at one point called Cattlepot, but they're not together anymore. But it was, it was basically, it was just us two, and now we sort of are the only metal band in Sanders, you know. <laughs> if you're listening at home and you fancy um, joining a metal band and you're near Sandhurst, then, uh, you know, don't let us stop you. No, no. <laughs> now, um, I made and I gather must be one of the bands you look up to, and it must have been absolutely amazing to appear on the frontman Bruce Dickinson's rock show on BBC Six Music. What was that like, Chris? That was great. It was very, very cool to be in a band that is being played by one of the greatest metal legends ever. <laughs> I actually had the uh, pleasure of interviewing him a couple of years ago at this uh, Reading Festival launch party awesome. and he was the loveliest man. He was so intelligent. He was talking more about his love of military history and going down the, his local pub than talking about music <laughs> actually. Absolutely lovely. Really well, great. My dad said the same thing because he flies the aeroplanes. My dad's an aircraft engineer and he met him at Lasham. He said, really nice boy, really. He's He's, you know, he's eccentric and stuff, but that's the best way to be in it. At least no one can sort of say, uh, you know. Well, exactly. Um, now, what's this about you guys appearing on a, on a TV pilot? <laughs> we uh, appeared on the Red Rooms and... Um, what's that? What channel? It's uh, channel 186 on Sky. Right. Um, I wouldn't recommend going there, but... <laughs> well, if you fancy a laugh on our behalf, then go. Why? Right. Okay, <laughs> when are you on? Plays three times a week. Three times a week. Tuesdays, oh, Thursdays, and Sundays. It's, it's really six o'clock during the week, and it's on at three on Sunday. Right? And so, is this is this you, you uh, actually performing a song live, or uh, are you being yeah. interviewed? That form destroys and War Cries, War Cries live, and with an interview in, like in the middle of both songs. So superb! Wow. Yeah. So how how did it go? How was it? <laughs> uh, very bad. Very bad. Why? Because oh, you get in the room, there's no one there. There's two cameras, two French people. They were, I think, on the on the cameras and stuff. Did they speak Nothing English? French people. No, not very well. Yeah. And and <laughs> well said, Jamie. <laughs> We, they tell me, they said, don't bring any of your own equipment or anything like that. We've got, like, they said, we've got a fantastic back line of stuff and, you know, you don't have to worry about anything. So, mm -hmm. like, we're like, okay, turned up there and then um, they put, like, Nick basically through a hairdryer <laughs> and then they, play, they put me, plugged me into a matchbox, didn't mic up the drum kit oh, and no. they turned my guitar off and the, and the amp was packing up as well. And oh, it's just, dear. like, really, really bad account of ourselves, to be fair. But, you know, if you'd like to say, if you fancy a laugh, just give it all I'm watch. sure Bruce Dickinson wouldn't have put up with that, you know. <laughs> yeah, we're not really in the position though, to start, like, you know, going, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah not to have a showbiz strong nah, just not yet. yet. Not yet, <laughs> No. And, of course, we've got a new album out, um, called, and I've got it right here, Through the Gates of Hell. Oh, yeah. And I must say, it's a remarkably scary looking figure on the front. <laughs> looks like some kind of orc with a purple, like, long mane yes, and um, really quite scary teeth and he's wearing shades as well. We got a rip for that, for that cover on a few, you know, <laughs> saying that, oh, what was it, too, trying to be too metal, too cheesy or something, but it's just it's like... It's quite a remarkable uh, cover. It's very striking. Yeah, <laughs> yes. American, like Michael Bobel, wasn't it? Michael Bobel. Yeah. And so, of course, you know, with an album out, you have reviews. So, was it really weird reading reviews about yourself, Nick? Reading the bad ones is a hell of a lot more fun than yeah? getting, the, getting the good ones. <laughs> what yeah, what kind of the things they said? Well, in the bad ones? Yeah. Oh, we're unaware of our own ridiculousness. When we, really? we are, aren't we? We're fully uh, aware of our ridiculousness. Oh. One of them starts with, are they kidding? Yeah. Are you <laughs> <laughs> so akin to the old Spinal Tap reviews. Yeah, yeah. yeah we've the been... shark sandwich one. <laughs> yeah, been compared to Spinal Tap. Really? Yeah. I just want to just, like, quote something that Karang said. It was okay. like... <laughs> 
Primatoy are so, so... It's swearing, is No, it? no, okay. Primatoy are so knuckle-headedly <laughs> determined to be more metal than anyone else that they fail to see their own ridiculousness. <gasps> oh, dear. <laughs> so what about the good reviews, then, on a more positive note? Awesome. Yeah? They're really good. It's, it's like yeah. Marmite, isn't it? Very yeah. toxic mm. peak. It's a sign of a good band, and people are talking about you. Yeah, yeah. Nothing worse than just being bland middle of the road. No, no. You're getting about two bad reviews out of every ten. Ish. Well, um, after all this talk about your music, let's hear one of your tracks. This is Primitai, with, and this is from their new album, Through the Gates of Hell. This is their single, War Cries. <laughs> so that was War Cries on BBC Radio Berkshire. That was from Primitai, who are in my studio at the moment. Now, um, I understand um, that, that you're getting some royalties already from your singles, is that right? No, we're waiting for them. <laughs> you're waiting for them, but they will come eventually. Well, they said... 30 days, and I think it's been, it's been three about months now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Who was going to give you the cash? Who was it? Uh, it's ditto, isn't it? It's for the it's ditto, ditto music, but it's we're on, I think, most download sites you go to. So we had a massive push in September for Primitillion Man. It's all the royalties were weighing from that. And uh, Primitillion Man is, is the single that we'll be hearing in the second part of the show, but we'll be hearing in a special acoustic version, won't oh, we? Oh, it's got B-sides, the B-side of it, so... And so, uh, talking of royalties, um, I take it this isn't your day job just yet, being like a, you know, a rock yeah, god. I wish. Uh, so <laughs> what do you all do for a living, starting with you, Nick? I'm unemployed. Unemployed, <laughs> lovely. Chris? Uh, I'm a student, so living off lines. Okay, Jamie? Uh, Full-time rock star slash part-time painter and decorator. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. What about you, Graham? I'm doing a degree as well, but I do removals, like commercial moves and things. Okay. Dead boy, and I'm going to talk about that. <laughs> I'm going to into a coma. <laughs> but Graham, you're of course uh, the, the singer of the band. I mean, doesn't your voice hurt after a gig? Nah. Because it does sound like you're shredding those vocal cords to no end. No, it's, I just suppose it's like that. Just naturally do, loud. Do I've got a, I've got a proper loud gob on me. <laughs> it got me in a lot of trouble as well in the past. But um, <laughs> but just like actually, it, I can imagine you. Yeah, you know, I've been a bit a few scraps <laughs> here and there. Making your points. Yeah, yeah. There's no skill to it really. It's just like some people can re like not saying it, you know, but Bruce Dixon and people like Rob Halford and people like that. They can actually sing properly, but I only became the singer because I was slightly less tone deaf than everyone else <laughs> in the band. So it's like all I want to do is play guitar and have a noodle with him and like with Nick. And then yeah, it's just like all oh, of a sudden you find yourself thrust to the fore. Yeah, yeah. You know, we started when we were young as well. So like when when you how how old are you all now? Twenty one. Okay. Like Twenty one. Uh, 19. I'm okay. 23. You're 20. Oh, so you're the I'm oldest. Granddad, you're the most here. mature. Yeah, you think so, wouldn't you? But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think Chris strikes me as the most mature, and you're the youngest, Chris. Yes, so, yeah. he is. Yes, yes. He, well, you look very self assured there, Chris. <laughs> Someone's got to have the brains behind the operation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now uh, we'll be hearing more from you in the second part of the show, but in the meantime, Graham, can you help me do the gig guide? I can. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay, so this is your music guide to what's on next week in Berkshire. I'll kick things off. Tuesday the 11th of March, it's uh, Kinesphere and Asono. They're playing an acoustic gig at the Cellar Bar in South Hill Park Art Centre in Bracknell. Um, on Wednesday the 12th of March, you have Echo Beat, Joey Ultra and the Chellington Incident. Uh, they play the weekly free gig night called Shout About Music, which takes place at the Bar 4 in Fryer Street, Reading. That's be there from 8pm. And then on Thursday the 13th of March, local bands and DJs are holding a fundraiser for Amnesty International at the Face Bar in Chatham Street in Reading. Uh, on Friday, March 14th, it's a hard rock night with Zangrius, Belligerence, uh, When Memories Fade and 200 More Heroes. That's at the Face Bar, Chatham Street in Reading. And then finally, on Saturday the, the 15th of March, it's Rubber Snake, Burning Down Vegas, Taken by the Dark and Crusader. That's also at the Face Bar in Chatham Street in Reading. And that is your gig guide. Thank you very much there to Graham from Primitai for helping me out there. And you can hear more from the Sandhurst Metal Band in the second part of the show.